Welcome to our lesson on interpreting two-way tables using relative frequency. So relative frequency is a ratio, typically expressed as a percent. It's a ratio of the number of times that the preference occurs during a survey divided by the total number of people surveyed or the total number of people in a specific category. So let's look back at this from lesson A, the lesson from the previous day, finding relative frequencies. So we talked about students who studied and did not study and whether or not there was a correlation if they passed or failed. So we can change this relative, this two-way data table into a relative frequency table. Sometimes you're given this table and you're asked to find a percentage. Sometimes you're asked to create a relative frequency table. So it's important that you're able to understand how to read it and then how to turn it into a percent. So we're asked what percentage of these students studied and passed. So we go up and we want to make a ratio of the number of students who studied and passed out of the total number of students surveyed. So we look at our table and we know that 21 of our students studied and passed. And of the students that we surveyed, there were 30. So 21 out of the 30 students studied and passed. So 70% of the people surveyed studied and passed. Now we're asked what percentage of students that did not study passed. So now we want to look at our ratio, the number of students who passed and did not study out of all the students that did not study. So we're not looking at this 30 right now because of this 30, some of them studied and did not study. We want to know of the students that did not study. So we have eight students that did not study and out of those, two of them passed. So now our ratio is going to be 2 out of 8, or 25%. So 25% of our students that did not study passed. So we can see that there's a correlation between studying and passing in this survey of these 30 students. So here's the table that we discovered before. We used our tallies to create this in the previous lesson. And it was a survey that collected the information from three different age groups of students and whether or not they rode the bus to school or did not ride the bus to school. So now that we have our two-way table, we're going to organize the res results in a two-way relative frequency table, which is going to display percents. So in this category, because we're being asked what percent of students in the survey ride the bus to school or do not ride the bus to school, it's what percent for each age group. So we need to go to the total of the age group. So now we're not, our denominator is not going to be out of 100. It's going to be what age group we're talking about. So let's do this age group first. There's 40 students in this age group. So to find the relative frequency of how many students in the 12 to 13 age group ride the bus, I need to do 24 divided by 40, which is 60%. So we're going to start to create our relative frequency table here. So we have our percent. So you're going to replace the cell with 60%. So typically you would have your two-way table, and then you'd create a second table with the relative frequencies in it, given whatever question you're asked about your data or whatever you're trying to communicate about your data. So if it's your data and you're choosing, then you get to choose what your denominator is just make sure you're clear in what your relative frequencies represent. So right here I have 16 students out of the 40, 12 to 13 year olds that did not ride the bus. So this cell becomes 40%. Now we move on to our 14 to 15 year olds and 12 out of the 25 14 to 15 year olds rode the bus. So that's 48%. And then 13 out of the 25 14 to 15 year olds did not ride the bus. So 52%. Continuing on to our 16 to 17 year olds, 14 out of the 35 students that are 16 to 17 year old rode the bus. So that's 40%. And then did not ride the bus is 21 out of 35. And then you typically take out your marginal frequencies. So here's our relative frequency table. Okay, so here's a question. You're given a bivariate data table. 
It's got three grade levels of students, and it tells you now they had three choices. Did you walk, ride the bus, or were you, did you take a car? Were you driven to school? Much bigger survey. And you're asked if a student is chosen at random from this group of students surveyed, what is the probability that they are in the eighth grade and walk to school? So you learned about probability in grade seven. Now we're asking you to apply what you know using this bivariate data table. So the first thing we need to know is it says that chosen at random from the group of students surveyed. So our denominator is going to be 646 because they're asking us to do it from the whole group surveyed. Then we're being asked, what is the probability that they are in the eighth grade and walk to school? So I'm going to go to eighth grade and walk and see that I have 40 students. So my ratio is going to be 40 out of 646, which is equivalent to 6%. Your turn. If a student is chosen at random from this group of the students surveyed, what's the probability that they are in the sixth grade and ride a bus to school? Please pause this, calculate your answer, and come back and hit play when you're ready to check. Welcome back. So hopefully you found that 120 sixth graders rode the bus to school out of the whole student amount of students surveyed. Here's your ratio. You divide, and I hope you got 19%. Thank you for joining me today. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel so that you can see the next video. Thank you for joining me.